to have so much fun today. We're gonna sing, we're gonna dance, we're gonna play some instruments. Hmm, I wonder what instrument we should play today. What do you think? Hmm, let's see. Hmm, shall we play something new? I have an idea. I know a really cool instrument. It's called a cajon. <laughs> We should play that! You know, I was just wondering what this is. It just showed up here today. I've never seen anything like this before. Does anybody at home know what this is? It's got a big hole in it. It looks like a chair. I wonder if it's a chair. It makes a sound! Wow! I think it's a musical instrument! What do you think? You think it's a musical instrument too? Oh, I wonder what kind of musical instrument this is. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Well, it's flat on the top and Listen, it makes all different kinds of sounds. I wonder what this is called. And it has a big hole in the back. Look at that. It has a big hole and it makes all different kinds of sounds. I wonder what it could be. Let me think about this. Hmm. Let me see. I think it's some kind of, some kind of drum. You know what we should do? We should go to the music store and ask Mark and see if Mark knows what this is because Mark knows so much about so many different instruments. Should we go ask him? Yeah! You think so? Okay, come on. Let's go ask Mark and see what he has to say about this mystery instrument. See you there. store. I love musical instruments. There's so much to see here. Drums, guitars, pianos. I wonder if Mark is working today. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm so happy that you're here today. It's really good to be here. Yeah. Oh, boys and girls at home, this is Mark. And Mark, he knows so much about drums and percussion and a whole bunch of different other instruments too. But I'm hoping that Mark can help us solve the mystery of what that was that was in my music room. Mystery? Yes, it's a big mystery. We don't know what kind of instrument it is. It's an instrument. Can you describe it? Okay, so it's got a flat top like this, and it has straight sides like this, and, and it kind of looks like a, like a stool, and it has a big circle in the back, and it's made of wood, and when I touched it, it, it kind of made a sound. Oh, like a little bit of a rattle? Yes, that's exactly what it sounded like. Oh, I know what that is. What is it, Mark? That's a cajon. A what? It's a cajon. What? It's a percussion instrument. It's almost like a drum set in a box. It's a great instrument. 
cajon. Yes, a cajon. It's spelled C-A-J-O-N. And the J sounds like an H. C-A-J-O-N. Oh, Mark, thank you so much. Do you know how to play the cajon? I do. Oh, will you show us? Absolutely. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, let's go. Let's yeah. go look. Yeah, we got several over here. Oh, Come on. cool. Follow me. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. This is where we keep our cajones. And the cajones, in case you were wondering what a cajon is, it's been described as a drum set in a box. So let me just grab one here and show you. Inside a cajon, basically it's like this big hollow wooden box, but inside, and some of these have ones that you can remove. This is called a snare. The metal wiring for a snare drum, you actually place that inside with, which rests across the front panel. So I'm just going to go place that in there right now. You can actually hear it, and now you can actually hear it in there. That little rattle. And this, again, it's a really compact design of what a drum set would be, but all inside this little box. So the way that you play a cajon is you actually sit on top and you, you can just sit on the box as it is or you can buy a pad, a seating pad that you can place on top and you sit on top of that. It is really versatile. And at the upper part, here it's got like a higher tone. The lower part, this is actually classed as the low part. You don't actually play the bottom because there's no difference. A lot of people think you have to play the bottom, but you don't. You actually just play around the middle or slightly above the middle and then the upper part. Mimicking a snare drum and a bass drum. So you can actually place this down here on the floor and you sit right on top. And the way that you play, if you were to mimic a hi-hat, you'd actually use your fingertips and your nails a little bit at the very top, which mimics a hi-hat. And if you're going to be playing the snare drum, you just tap and release the top part. There's your snare drum. And for your bass, you use the palm of your hand, and a very relaxed palm of your hand, and there's your bass. So you have your bass drum, snare drum, hi-hat. So you can actually play just like a drum set. If you want to do some tom work, like the tom drums of a drum set, you can actually use the side. There you go. That is a cajon. A little bit of a beat for you for a sample. That's snare and bass, hi-hat. You can have a lot of fun with a cajon. Another example for the cajon and mimicking different sounds of tom drums with a drum set is what's called a cricket technique, where you use one of your legs, the heel of your foot, and you run it along the front panel of the cajon. By doing that, you actually change the tones of what you're playing. So you can mimic like... Now, I'm not sure if you can hear that on the video, but you definitely have different tones than if you were doing like a small uh, venue, a small party, things like that, being able to use this, it really gets people's attention. Mark, I love that. That is so much fun. I was hoping that maybe we could do a song on the cajon and the guitar. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, here we go. All right. telling us all about the cajon. This was fun. Now I know what it is, so now I can go back to the music room and I'm going to try it. Awesome. Have fun. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. You are welcome.
Well, wasn't that exciting, everybody? And I'm so thankful that Mark was here today and could show us how to play the cajon. What a great day this was. Well, it's time to go home. I went home and I tried everything that Mark showed me on the cajon and I realized that I wanted to learn some more. So I went back the next day to take a cajon lesson with Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm so good and I'm so excited. It's a pleasure to see you. Oh, we're going to have a cajon lesson today. Yes, and I have a cajon right there waiting for you. Come have a seat. Oh, right there? Right there. This is oh, a cajon? It is, and here's one right here for oh. me. Oh, okay. So where do we start, Mark? <laughs> well, let's start with a cajon, shall we? Yay! <laughs> so first of all, you have to realize there are actually three different tones to a cajon. So those three tones, you have a low, you have a mid, and then you have a high. Some people will call it a low slap, a middle slap, and a high slap. I actually just like to call it just simply tones so that nobody gets confused. But you have that, you have a low tone, and it's not too far down. Posture is really important here. You actually want to have good posture with your back, have your shoulders back. And when you're playing, you just want to reach down just a little bit and not be reaching down all the way to the bottom. Your low tone is actually right about the middle or slightly above the middle, depending on your cajon. For this one, right in the middle. Do you want to try yours? Sure. See how, there you go. So the middle? Middle. And you don't want to actually cup your hand. That's one thing. You don't want to have a cupped hand because you actually lose it. You actually, that's called choking the sound. You want to have a flat hand and just tap it. There you go. That's your low tone. Oh, great. And then let's go for the middle tone, just up about halfway between the top and where you were hitting for the low tone. Okay. And that is your middle tone. Feel that? Do you hear the difference? Oh, let me see. Difference. There you go. Can you hear the difference, boys and girls? I Let's see. listen to that again. Mid tone. There's a difference in the sound. There That's go. cool. And now for your high tone, check this out. This one's done with flat fingers. So you want to have your fingers nice and flat. Same thing with you, you normally your hand on the lower tone and the mid tone. Now you're gonna play the high tone up here, just about where your legs are. That's your high tone. You try it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> there you go. That's amazing. So why don't we try, why don't we try doing a rhythm together? Sure. So we'll do something in a four, four time. Okay. okay. We Just, know what that is. Yeah. Four, four time is four heartbeats in a measure. Oh, there you go. There you go. I like that. So we are going to do a four, four time, four beats. We're going to do one and two and three and four and we're going to do one and two and three and four and and take a look at the different sounds listen to those sounds going from the middle or the middle area which is your low one and two and three and four and see how it changes as you go up neat try it okay here i go one Different sounds. Do it again. One and two and three and four and. And there you go. Oh, I love that. And then you can get real fancy if you want to throw in some extra notes. If anyone knows what eighth notes are and sixteenth notes are, things like that. You don't have to keep it all plain and simple. You can actually have a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. <laughs> can I try that? Sure you can. Okay, here I go. Look at you go. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so then working with almost like a rhythm, remember a cajon is kind of known as a drum set in a box, right? So you actually have your high tones, which are known as like where you would play your hi-hat or your snare drum as well. You also have your middle area, which is kind of where you would mimic the sound of a tom drum from a drum set. And then of course, your bass drum down here in the middle area, giving you that low tone. I remember you told us that day when we were at the music store. Right. 
Yes, remember boys and girls, we learned all about that in the music store that day. So, that's the whole idea here. And you can actually do... Just like that. Oh. Do you want to try to make a beat? Sure, I'd Where's love it? to. Try to make a beat. See, and you can just have fun with it. It's kind of neat, right? That is so cool. <laughs> can you show me another rhythm? I can show you another rhythm. Um, even we can go with some off beats. So you can do one and two and three and four and up, things like that. You can actually add that as percussion to a band. Now, who knows the We Will Rock You beat? I, probably a lot of people do. Oh, yes! So that's something that we can actually mimic play on the cajon. Great! So let's try that. We're going to do the low sound, the low tone is going to be done with your right hand and the high tone is going to be done with your left hand. Okay. Okay, so let's just try that, I'll just show you. Keep going. See how it's kind of sounding like a drum set, right? Yes, it totally is. That's amazing. All right, well, you came here to learn. You try it. Me? Yes. Oh. I get to try it? Absolutely. Oh, okay, here I go. Let's see. There you go. Is there any pointers you could give me, Martin? I could Sound definitely like give you some pointers. Oh, that yes. would be great. What, what should I do? So, first of all, remember that your low tone is about the center of the cone. Right? Right about there. And we were okay. trying for the high tone, which means the high tone up here at the top. Okay, okay. And you want to play the high tone, remember? Flat hand, flat yep. fingers on the top. Yep. So get that low tone and a nice solid high tone. Okay. And then you hear the difference. Oh, okay. Again, if you want. I know you can do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, here I go. You can do it. That's awesome. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with a cajon. You know, I read that cajon is from Peru. It is from Peru. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, and that it is Spanish for a drawer or a box. That's pretty much what it is. Yes, that's really cool. <laughs> some some percussionists, professional percussionists, use things like wire brushes or mallets, or some people even use drumsticks on them. Really? But it kind of wears it out a little bit faster. We like to just use our hands. Oh. Oh, I imagine if you hit it with drumsticks, it would probably, like, probably wear out the front really fast. Yeah, it would. It would wear it right down. We don't want to wear things down. We want them to last. And if we just use our hands, as you can see, you get a lot of really good sound from it. Just using your fingertips works quite well. Can you show me another beat? I can. In fact, why don't we do something a little bit simple? What do you think? I love that. Yeah. Let's do two beats on the right, two beats on the left, and then another two beats on the right. And we're going to do that with the low tone, the mid tone, and the high tone. Okay. Walking up the cajon. Great. What do you think? Love it. Let's do it. So, first of all, two with the low, two with the mid, and two with the high. So we're going to stick with the four, four times. We're going to count. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Do it again. There you go. Why don't you try it? Okay, here I go. Four and. Just come a little bit higher for those high tones. Okay. Don't okay. be afraid. Right okay. up here, big Right up here. Top. Okay, right up here. Yep. Top. Okay, I'll try it again. Try it again. You got it. You got I'm it. I'm gonna try that again. Here I go. <laughs> awesome. I noticed that that your when you play the cajon, it has a much more even sound than it does when I play it. A much more even sound? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, like when I play. Oh, I don't know. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Am I doing it right? Yeah, you're if you're playing at the top, yes. Okay. I'm but you the... also, here's the thing though, you have to remember with a cajon, this is made of wood. 
So when you're playing a cajon, you don't want to hurt yourself. You're literally, you're banging your hand against wood. So you want to make sure that when you do it, you do it safely. You don't want to hurt yourself. And there's nothing here that's going to cause pain. Actually, the lighter that you hit it, the more sensitive the sounds are, and you don't hurt yourself. Oh, okay. Let me try it. I won't hit it so hard this time. Okay, give okay. it a try. Okay. How's yeah, it feel? It feels so better. It feels better, and, it, and it, it vibrates. Yes, and you're not hurting yourself. Yes, that's right. amazing. Wow, that is so much fun. We're going to use it kind of like a drum set, where this low tone is going to be like a bass drum. The upper part, that high tone, I'm going to use that as a snare drum. And we'll see if I can throw in some fancy stuff, too. Let's see what happens. Cool. Okay, so let's get started. Thank you so much, Mark, for teaching us about the cajon. It's my pleasure. Oh, thank you. Well, boys and girls, I think I better go now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And it's so good to see well, you again. Well, you too. We'll hope to see you again soon, Mark. I hope so. Okay. my friends Lucas and Reese are coming to visit me today and I haven't seen them in a really really long time because they moved away but they're visiting this weekend and I'm so excited to show them my new instrument and you know what that is it's a cajon so I'm gonna sit on the cajon and I'm gonna pretend that it's a chair and they're not even gonna notice what it is. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here on my cajon. Here it is. Hi, Martha. Oh, hi, Lucas. Hi, Reese. Hi, friends at home. How are you guys doing? Good. I have something to share with you today. Guess what? I have a new instrument that I just discovered and you'll never guess what. I'm sitting on it. I'm sitting on the instrument that I'm gonna show Lucas and Reese. It's right here. Look at this. Look at this. That's a stool. That's not a stool. You know what it is? What? It's called a cajon. Can I try it? Oh, I think I heard of this from um, a, a long time ago at school, and it has three parts. Yes, it does. You're right, Lucas. Good memory. Okay, so. First of all, did you notice this? Yeah, that's a hole to, to make sure the sound waves come out. Yes. What other instrument do we know that has a hole in it like that? 
guitar. A guitar does. You're so right, Lucas. Excellent. So I'm going to turn it around this way, and it looks just like a box, but it's actually an instrument, and I love playing this instrument. So, do you want to try it? Yeah, I'll do. Reese wants to play. Yes. Okay, you try, Reese. Try it. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. You know how much I love monkeys. I named my cat Monkey because I love monkeys so much. I Any love monkeys. And on your wall in your room, you have a picture of a monkey. You are so right, Lucas. I do. Okay, so anyway, we're going to do a little monkey poem, okay? okay. And I'm going to play the cajon. And the boys and girls at home, they're going to do it with us too, okay? So we're going to listen to what I say, and then we're going to do these actions, okay? <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to play this, this, this rhythm pattern. Monkey, monkey in my tree. Monkey, monkey looking at me. Monkey, monkey, what do you see? One, two, three. Stand up. That was so much fun playing the cajon. Now I feel like jumping. Five little monkeys jumping on a bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And then there were four little monkeys. Four little monkeys jumping on a bed. One fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed And then there were three little monkeys Three little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed And then there were two little monkeys Two little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed And then there was one left, one little monkey One little monkey jumping on the bed He fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said Put those monkeys straight to bed 